Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting this family. My name is Siddhartha Rathod. I'm one of the attorneys at Rathod Muhammad Bai who are blessed to represent Jordell's family, to stand with Jordell's family. I stand here with his mother, his grandmother, his father, his brother, his sister. Let's remember what we lost. We're here to mourn. We are all in pain. But there is nothing to fear from us. We stand here peacefully. There is no reason to fear us because of the color of our skin, because of the neighborhoods we grew up in, because of which communities we live in. We are not to be feared. And we need the equal right, the equal right to make mistakes and live and breathe. Our black and brown children have to have the ability to make mistakes and have the same opportunities to surrender and not be shot, but to breathe. And Jordell was denied that right. Somebody asked today, what is justice? There is no justice. I say it again, there is no justice. Justice would be Jordell walking through his front door. And that is not going to happen. So remember this. There is no just justice. There's no justice for this family. And there's no justice for this community, which has been robbed of this beautiful boy. We were supposed to do this at 3.30. But they sat there in that building to spin a narrative that Jordell deserved to die. I'll say it again. They want you to believe that Jordell deserved to die. This boy did not deserve that. He deserved better from the police. And we, as a community, are going to demand that. But they're standing in there, for those of you who listened to what the chief of police had to say. They stood in there, and they exonerated their officers. They prosecuted Jordell. They told you that these officers were right and Jordell was wrong. They told you they don't have all the facts. They haven't seen all the evidence. But they have already exonerated their officers and convicted Jordell. That is not justice. That is not fair. We must demand the truth. We must demand as a community the truth for this family, for Jordell. But what do we know? Let's not spin things. Let's talk about what we know. <coughs> and what he didn't say. We know they went to and responded on kids, suspicious kids wearing hoodies, and COVID mask. They arrived 
And they said he shoplifted. And they began chase. And they caught this 14-year-old boy quickly because he's a boy. Nowhere on that video do you see Jordell with a gun. Nowhere on that video do you see Jordell fighting with the officers. Nowhere in that video do you see Jordell threatening those cops. But what do you hear? What do you see? Jordell surrenders prior to being shot. Surrenders. You got me. You got me. And then they shoot him. And what did we learn today? What else did they keep from us until today? What did they do when they looked at this family with community leaders to their attorneys and looked them in the eye? What did they look and say to you, the press, to you, the community? Jordell had a gun. Jordell had a gun. They have known from the get-go. They have known that Jordell did not have a gun. Yet they didn't tell you that. They told you something else. They continue to misrepresent the truth to you, the public. And we have to demand more from our leaders. Because they have to hold these police count accountable. They have to say, no, you may not go out there and lie to the public. They wanted you to believe he had a gun. They didn't have the decency to tell the family he didn't have a gun until moments ago. So does it make sense when you see this video and you see that Jordell never touches a gun, he doesn't fight with the officers, does it make sense that he's grabbing for a toy when he's surrendering? And the chief of police is saying he doesn't have all the evidence. Well, there's a video camera pointing right down on where Jordell was shot and killed. We're demanding that. We want to see all the evidence, not their skewed and already decided outcomes. Our babies deserve the right to breathe, the right to live. They have the right to grow. Jordell had the right to grow in the grace and wisdom of God, his family, his mother, his community. This boy had the right to become a man, a father, a grandfather. And we are done with them taking that away from our community. We are here to demand accountability because justice will never come. And now I want to pass the microphone to Jordell's mother. baby was a good boy. Anybody that he ever 
was in touch with, hung around. He just clinged to their heart and they loved him to death. He was the light of our house. For a week now, our light has dimmed low. My son had family that was out of this world. We were a close-knit family. We always stuck together, had cookouts, laughing, dancing. All of that is going to change. My life is forever ruined. To know that the police didn't even try to think twice that he was a child and that he's human. People make mistakes. They didn't give him a chance to redeem himself, to suffer the consequences for his actions, and to be able to move on. In life, we make mistakes so that we could grow. They took that from my son. I have a 19-year-old son, and I'm scared for him to leave the house. So I don't want this to happen to my other son. I don't want him to be out walking and they profile my son and feel like it's okay because he's black that they could shoot and kill him. My son did not deserve this. Right is right and wrong is wrong and I'm a firm believer of that. Some accountability needs to be done, be brought about. And when we were at his balloon release, a little girl came up to me and she hugged me and she said, one day some kids were picking on her and out of everybody out there, my son stood up for her. That within itself let me know what type of person my son was. And that's not to be gunned down and shot in his stomach while he's laid on his back. I wanna thank everybody for coming out. Everybody's been showing me and my family a lot of love that they there for us. This is gonna be a long road for us. I'm still needed and my family. But I appreciate that. I appreciate everybody coming out and staying here and saying my son's name and just never silence his name. Never stop saying that. Thank you. Now, Jordell's father. I'm gonna say first, honor the guy to thank for all the love that, <clears throat> excuse me, that is here in support of our son Jordell and our family during this terrible moment. Lori said, you know, everything you hear about Jordell from what you see here, not by what they are saying. I don't know how easy it is to turn such a beautiful soul into such a bad person and say to a father sworn to my face how sorry you are and your heart goes out to our family because you have a 15 year old at home. He's at home. Yeah. Our son is in heaven. And I know we, we will meet again. 
But the loving mother that he has in the family kept him from doing all that they making him out to be. Yeah. Even during my absence, his mother gave him the world. His family gave him the world. He stayed happy, humble hearted, loved to dance, loved to see everybody smile, silly, a cat, a child. A child. I know my hurt is my hurt, and my anger, my anger, but it hurts to see his mother, his siblings, all the love around him so hurt. Because this is so wrong. And ain't nothing they can do to bring him back as they get to go home and sleep good at night. But just before they go to bed, they get to look at their child and tell them that I love you. We have to pray and close our eyes and fill them in our hearts. I know what I want to say and what I want to do, but God ain't going to allow that because it ain't, it's not going to hurt. It's not going to help. It will hurt because that's what I feel. So I'm not going to give to them what you see. Because if I react, It'll all be for nothing because they're going to lock my lock me up yeah. Don't go yourself without a chance. And I will not because that's not our son. That's not us. To lock doors and hide like a coward, but in front of social media and all this so you can keep slandering a baby's name. No, don't put that name on our family because he was raised right. An incident. You sat up there and told the world what you wanted. Give me here. And the great support that was there that was questioning, he stood there and said it and protected his employees. He said it perfectly, didn't skip a beat until the questions started coming. How can you say all these words when your officers hadn't put in a report? How dare you? So now you have to answer. Hide behind doors, but you can't hide from God. On, That's man. right. Amen. You're right. Amen. You know. You can hide behind doors, but you cannot hide from God. Yes. And as they say, you had the girth to tell my son's mother that he didn't suffer. <laughs> You're not him. He didn't suffer. Our son died in a dirty alley. Scared. You know, no one there is not you from doing what you're doing. Yeah. You know, how dare you? The chief. <laughs> the chief. That's like a big wig, right? Yeah. How dare you? And to sit in front of me and his grandmother, after you said that to her, days after, before the reporting, he told us he didn't suffer. God, before he can finish it, his grandmother said, uh-uh, what did you say? God didn't do that, but he just had to finish his statement. God didn't want him to suffer, so he took him. No, y'all took him. Y'all took him. Stop saying that he didn't suffer. You come on out and tell the truth, because the truth gonna come out. And I don't want your family to go through what our family go through, but you don't deserve that badge. You don't deserve to be called Thank chief. You, you a coward. You. Stand up behind what? Thank you. What are you standing up? How are you standing up? How do you sleep? Yeah. Rest in peace to our baby, Jordel. Sir. You might not be here in the flesh, but you feel him. You feel him. He was present. And like Lori said, this is going to be a long road. And all the support is much needed. It don't stop here. Don't stop. And like I said at the school to the children, eyes open, stay focused. As growing up, we always were told when that street light come on, what is it? You better be home. You better be there before That's it. it. There we That's go. It. Follow that. <laughs> Yes, be scared, because that's going to keep you aware, you know? 
Yeah, so I just want to say thank y'all and uh, eyes over to stay focused. And let's get him out of office. Let him stay yes. in the locked room, but at home. Thank y'all.